The tone for Peacekeepers Day at the United Nations mission in South Sudan was a solemn one. Sixteen peacekeepers have died here while carrying out their duties to help in the betterment of South Sudan. The special representative of the Secretary General in South Sudan, Hilda F. Johnson, and the Minister of Information for South Sudan, Barnaba Marial Benjamin, laid reads in their memory and a moment of silence was observed for the fallen. The SRSG spoke on the theme of this Peacekeepers' Day, adapting to new challenges. In the past year, South Sudan has faced many and difficult challenges that have constantly tested the country, its ability to adapt and overcome them. Unmissed resolve and ability to tackle these new challenges has also been tested. The people of South Sudan have taught us a powerful lesson Never surrender to pessimism. Their resilience, which brought independence to this country, has also helped it overcome the daunting challenges of going through 18 months virtually without government revenues. Now, with the resumption of oil production and relations with the Sudan back on at least a relatively positive path, the time has come to make decisive strides to consolidate peace and stability throughout the country, to focus on core state building and nation building, and to deliver on the peace dividends that the South Sudanese people have waited for for so long. Minister of Information Barnaba Mariel Benjamin praised ANMIS for its work. The role of the United Nations in keeping peace throughout the world is much more felt in the Republic of South Sudan. And we seize this opportunity and our appreciation as a new young member within the family of nations represented at the United Nations as a newcomer, the last born nation on earth. I'm sure you will bear with us like all the last born in families are. Despite breaking glasses, they are always loved and touched on the head and encouraged to proceed. I'm sure the role of the UN in the Republic of South Sudan is appreciated, Your Excellency, not only by the government, but by the people of the Republic of South Sudan. Our experiences with UNMIS has been a wonderful experience, Your Excellency. We have been involved together in enhancing peace and protecting civilians in the Republic of South Sudan. We recognize the tremendous work UNMIS has done in this young country. UN peacekeepers face many challenges in South Sudan, but despite this, they have met these challenges head on. 29 UNMIS peacekeepers were awarded the UN Medal for Service to the people of South Sudan and encouraged to keep meeting the challenges that may face them ahead. The medals were unique and represented the colors of the United Nations and the great people of South Sudan.